Hi everyone, and welcome to Power Plays. I'm Harry, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get a great early start in Two Point Campus, no matter what campus you are on. Big shout out to Two Point Studios for giving me early access to the game, and if you check the link down below in the video description, you can see how you can enter my Two Point Campus giveaway, where I'm going to be giving away a free copy of the game on any platform you want. So just have a look, subscribe to the channel, join my Discord, follow me on Twitch, all ways to increase your chances of winning. And let's go. I'm gonna be streaming this game a lot as well between now the 5th of August to launch on the 9th. So do make sure to come catch me on YouTube, on Twitch. I'm gonna be everywhere playing this game because it is fantastic there is so much to love let's get started let's just skip these so there are a few things that you're going to want to start off with just like you want to start off with you know a gp office some diagnosis rooms you know reception staff room training etc etc there are also a few things that you want to start off with you want to get started with some dormitories now, first thing I'd do is I'd just have a quick look and see, all right, okay, how many students? We got 10 students. So we haven't clicked start the year yet, so this is gonna be what happens next year. We got 10 students coming in. So you wanna make sure that you have two dormitories because um, on average, roughly, you don't wanna have too many more than five per room. And I believe just want to bump this up a bit more there we go so you want to have five per room and you can see at the moment we've got zero assigned because we've got no students but that will be five per room um let's get rid of these radiators because we don't need temperature control here but it will be five per room so that is perfect to start off with you're also going to want a bathroom because of course students need to go to the toilet to get those in and you're going to want a shower room because they're going to be staying here for a while you want to make sure that they are squeaky clean now if you were going to have say 20 30 students you probably still get away with having one block but you know when you when you are starting to get to the 30 you probably want to introduce some more showers and toilets because there are only three cubicles here and you know it, it is quite a busy room so for now anything up to especially in the early campuses this is going to be the perfect dream to start off with you could add two more say either side so if we really wanted to if we had 20 we could put that there and that there and those toilets and showering would be completely fine you also want to build a library so i'm just going to get my template for the library now i do not build this as a minimum most rooms i don't build as a minimum apart from the dormitory showers and toilets and staff room uh, staff room's not minimum but it's it's very similar to two one hospital you do want this room to be big because you're going to have lots of things in it as you can see yeah you know, i've got um you know some reception some bookcases and i just deleted that just so you can see you know all the other things that you might want to add to it so like for example we're in a cooking area so we want to add the cooking requirements in there so that's the sort of thing you're going to want to have look at doing and a library is going to be a must because you want students to be able to complete their assignments that's going to help push their grades up and you're going to need a library uh, assistant to work in here as well so make sure you get an assistant pop them in there and there you go that is a good setup but we're not done we are not done you're gonna want um, obviously you're gonna want to look at the campus requirements quite often you're gonna need a lecture hall so get that in um, lecture halls uh, they are multi-purpose um, so you know it's, if you have multiple courses they're all going to be using the lecture hall so it's definitely something you're going to want to get out quite early um, and then you're going to want to have a look at the other requirements so in this case we need a savory kitchen so if you go down here we'll have a look at the savory kitchen add that in six by six but again i don't recommend you do minimum work requirements purely because of the size of this look at that machine that is gigantic 
and then look at all the things that we can add. You're gonna to wanna to add as many of these as possible because that's what's gonna help students get better, get better grades, and they are gonna be happier. Also, it's gonna help boost your um, prestige level of the room because items do not stack, so you can't just plaster the walls with gold stars anymore. You're gonna to have to have some variety, otherwise, you're not going to be able to get that prestige up. And even adding things like windows is going to help. There you go. That helps boost the prestige up. But if I just spam the same poster again and again and again, you can see it is barely going up. Not interested at all. So do make sure you're adding a bit of variety. So we got that in and then obviously yes, you're going to want to hire a teacher in this case and you are good to start the year but that is not it that is not it you also want to make sure that you want have a a good little breakout area so you want a student lounge so again i don't recommend uh, doing these as a minimum requirement just see what sort of space you've got and add it in you know you could put it here uh, and leave that area as a little social area which I'll kind of demonstrate in a sec. But what I recommend doing in these social areas is making sure you've got a, a nice little area for them to kind of chill out so they can just sit um, enjoy their time in the sofas and, and you know you can do whatever you want here that's one of the great things about Two Point Campus is that there's literally no answer you do whatever you want whatever you think works best it's not like these rooms have to be done in a specific way. It's one of the things I love about campus. But I just add a few things in there, um, a few things for them to socialize. That's key. You wanna make sure that you've got lots of things for them to do some social activities. That is the only requirement that I would say. Make sure we got lots of things for them to have a good time, for them to enjoy themselves, for them to build relationships. And I'm not gonna, bump up the procedure of this room but you know you can add loads of things in you can unlock things just look at all these items you can stick in but that's definitely a must-have room because then you can schedule some nice events just to get people happy early on and get the party started in the news finally today, finally finally something you're gonna want to create sure a nice exactly little hangout area and i recommend having be, this in you as as all hostels in all kind of buildings as well it's right. have a nice little hangout Tom's area which is gonna me. fulfill quite a few needs so we've got some food and some water needs there Tuition also you know you're gonna want to purposes. add a few arcades so people can have a good time you've got there so they can chat you know maybe you want to this would be a good place to have a social club hangout as well so like here this is where they can join their social club um, this is where they can practice get their speed walking up but this is now like a nice little breakout area uh, you know we could add some more fun things in here just for them to interact with and enjoy it's a nice little fun area for them just to chill out to come relax and just just get that happiness level up we need a lot of assistance to build these up though but just get those happiness levels up build those relationships it is really going to help uh, make your students happy now you notice all this we've increased our campus level this has allowed us to look at uh, upgrading our courses so we could either add a new course or we could upgrade our current course. Now, I wouldn't recommend adding too many courses right at the very start, because as you can see, we've not got that much money, and you're gonna then have a lot of people coming in. A lot, a lot of people coming in. But, you know, feel free, bump, bump this up, but then you do need to take into account that, all right, if I bump that up, then you know, I would need to create two more of these just like this, just so I can have my rule of five. There we go, upgrade that, confirm, start the year, off we go. Now this is a very, very good start. We got um, a lot of social, um, so I'm just gonna hire, I know these are the wrong assistants, but I'm just gonna hire some assistants quickly to work in these areas. Um, but this is a really good setup. Get a 
janitor or two. One can focus on cleaning, one can focus on maintaining. But here's a really good setup, really good setup, which you can use any, any campus. Now, you're obviously gonna have other requirements. So like for here, you wanna build a private tuition room. Um, you might not always have to build that straight away. It is something which I'd recommend getting fairly early, but not potentially something that you need to get in the initial setup. This is the initial setup that, that I would, or the initial build that I would have on pretty much all campuses and it's made my life a lot, lot easier. Something then to start having a look at is, all right, what's gonna happen next year? Next year, I'm gonna get 30 students. Well, I'm gonna have 30 students. So I already have 20. So I'm gonna need some more dormitories, some more toilets, some more shower rooms. I then need to look, oh, here, I'm gonna need to get another teacher. I'm gonna need to get another room. So I'm gonna need 65K. Currently only have 21. So I need to keep an eye on this and make sure that I've got a decent amount of cash towards the end of the year, because otherwise I'm gonna be caught short. And that is not gonna be good. If you don't have the rooms, uh, classes aren't gonna happen, or if you don't have the dormitories and you have too many people in a dormitory, students are not gonna be happy. Don't have enough library space. Yeah, students aren't gonna be happy. They're not gonna do well. They're gonna fail, they're gonna quit. They're gonna refuse to pay and your campus is going to collapse. Now, something I definitely recommend doing early on is taking advantage of the loans. If you feel like you wanna build some extra buildings, you need the cash, just get it done. Get a loan in, it'll really help you keep the, the campus afloat and you you can definitely work that way under, under loans. Whereas sometimes in hospitals, some of the loans would crush you quite a bit. Um, but yeah, I definitely recommend taking advantage of the loan facilities. As I said, I'd always limit the amount of courses that you do right at the very start. I recommend only having one, maybe two, uh, but just be aware that if you have two, then you're likely gonna need another room here. You'll probably use the same lecture theater, so that's fine, but it is gonna, um, it's gonna make things slightly more difficult. So it's definitely something to, to look out for. As I said, I'd recommend having one to start off with maybe two but definitely not three <laughs> definitely not although you could if you just push your hospital level up and up and up and up you could definitely afford it and then finally definitely customize make these hosp uh, hospitals Ooh, make these campuses your own style them out get little breakout areas like this it's definitely going to make your students a lot happier start the rooms exactly how you want them there is no right answer here and that's what's great about campus students it's not just bang a load of gold stars loads of medicine cabinets and you're going to be fine that is not the case you do you you do the rooms exactly how you want them and you're gonna have a pretty good a pretty good campus and i mean i think this is quite a good one as well you know this is this is quite a nice campus to start off with need to build this private tuition room but it's a pretty good starting place and this is how you're gonna get ahead really early you replicate this in every single um, every single campus that you're at including building a little um, tuition room you know let me just you know you could just build I recommend having these a bit smaller because you're gonna have quite a few of them but you could easily just build one fairly quickly have a little bookcase in here as well um, you know maybe have some windows at the back there There's a fly in here. add some more bookcases make sure you're getting temperature control in got your hygiene sorted you're gonna want to make the room look a bit nicer get the prestige up you can plaster it with posters but obviously you can't just spam the same poster again and again and again and we have learned that but look that's a quick and easy level four room you need to hire a, another teacher to get that done but that is essentially a perfect setup get a party on getting those socials in people doing their assignments got all the rooms we've got social aspects here we've got clubs for them to join we've not got too many students per dorm 
this is a great setup. This is how you're gonna get ahead really early. Already making a profit. This is how we roll. So make sure you do this and start off every campus. Make sure you have fun with it. Make sure like these sort of areas are really where you can get creative and you can just have a good, good time. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to join the giveaway for your chance to win a copy of this amazing game. Subscribe to the channel, keep liking the videos, and comment down below. What would you add to this build to start off? Thanks for watching, and I will catch you on the next episode. Bye for now.